Let's move on to the next topic, the configuration files in Linux. The behavior of systems and applications is controlled by the configuration file settings. The files that contain these settings are known as configuration files. Every application or service has the configuration followed by its name. For example, in the given screenshot, you can see the network card configuration as required by the network service application. Network service application's job is to provide network connectivity based on the configuration described in the file. Configuration files in Linux. In this demo, let's learn about configuration files and concepts. Configuration files are files that allow you to modify the parameters of applications. This enables you to control the behavior of those applications. Let's look at one of the standard applications used to access the Linux machine that includes Ubuntu as well. It is called SSH service. Type the command cd slash etc slash ssh slash and then list the available directories. These are all your configuration files. You have the sshconfig.d, sshdconfig.d, and others. This sshdconfig is your config file for ssh service, which is a remote login service. You can open this with the command less sshdconfig and just see how it looks like. You can see the configuration file name and it indicates on which port it can listen to. It can listen to anybody with any IP address. If you scroll down, you can see all the parameters, such as authentication, login grace, permit, and more. These parameters are relevant to this particular application. By changing any of these parameters, you can control the behavior of the application. Similarly, each application has its own configuration files.